Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Hashimoto00, back again with 7 Days to Die. Today we're going to do a little bit of dev tools. Okay, so first of all, you're going to want to press F1. Okay, and you want to put D, M, Enter. Okay, so I just turned mine off. I'm going to turn mine back on. D, M, Enter. Now it's on. Okay, then hit Escape. All right, once you've done that, Say you want to not do seven days to die in creative mode because you want to get the achievements and whatnot. All you got to do is hit F1 and type in creative menu, no spaces. And hit enter. Now creative menu is on. So when you hit tab, go up to creative, you have, you know, everything that you can choose from in the game. Now, if you want to get the dev tools, you want to click this one right here. Okay. Click that on. And now you're going to be able to get certain things that I think are pretty cool to have when you first start off. Okay. Here are some dev tool stuff that I think is pretty interesting. Um, you might want to start off your game with these. As soon as you find yourself a place to start building a base, you might want to start off with these key things. And I'm going to show you what they do. So I'm going to grab this here. It's a workstation and tools pack. So you want, you're going to want this one for sure. And you're going to want this one, level design tools. Okay. So first you get those. Okay. Now, when you get stuff like this, all perks, and all crafting skills, all mod schematic. So if you take these, okay, it'll give you all of these and all of these, okay? So you'll have to allocate the points to where you want to, to put them, but these get to maxed out both categories. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so now you want to just open it. So this here is very, very interesting. If I left click, okay, and then I right click, it, <laughs> it actually mimics what you left click on. This is the super digger. This thing is pretty darn cool. I'm just going to hit God mode. We'll go outside and we'll check this out. So you see in one of my previous videos, I had shown what this could do, what this was and what it could do. Okay. So it will, it will definitely help you dig an extremely large base. But keep in mind, as you shoot this thing, it gives you a heat signature and it will bring on screamers. And it gives you a bunch of other blocks like wood cube, uh, other sort of wooden shapes, concrete. It gives you 500 of each. So you can see by opening the dev tool that it gave you all of these really cool things. And it gives you 500 of concrete cubes and wood cubes to help you. All right, next we have the workstation and tools pack. We're going to open that up right now. Sweet. Okay, <laughs> I didn't have enough space. So it basically it gives you a forge with all the things you need for it. Uh, you get uh, everything you need for your cooking station. You have a chemistry station, cement mixer, an actual cement mixer, and a workbench. Uh, also, it gives you some XP and a bunch of other things too. Coal, there's meat. For those who don't know, once you've hit F1 and put DM, enter. You can hit Q and that'll give you God mode. It'll take away all injuries, disease. It'll fill up your thirst of your water and your hunger. Also your stamina and your health. Now we move on to the last dev tool. One of my personal favorites, the hammer of God. Now this thing is pretty cool. I always have it on me. It's just one hit, one hit to everything. doesn't matter what it is. It could be a zombie, could be this chair. So here's a list of everything they have that are dev related. These are the couple things that I've shown you already. And these are kind of things you haven't seen yet. So full respects, uh, note to testers, not quite sure what that one's. 
Um, but yeah, there are a whole bunch for you to try out for yourself, like this instant death pistol, one shot kill, pretty cool. Uh, rocket boots, I guess the uh, what that does is pretty self-explanatory. Check all these out and let me know in the comments down below.